Hey everyone, this is me, you the creator of Fun to Draw. Welcome to another Fun to Draw tutorial. Today it's gonna be Fun to Draw Taylor Swift as a cute cheerleader from her Shake It Off, Shake It Off video. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> so today I'm gonna show you how to draw her with her cute ponytail, her megaphone, her little pom-pom, and her cute cheerleading outfit. If you want simpler drawings, see my Fun to Draw Easy playlist. For other Fun to Draw celebs and YouTubers, you can see this playlist. And if you want more detailed drawings, you can see some of my manga videos. I hope they all help you draw all kinds of different characters, and I hope they help you improve your art in different ways. Alright, so first I'm going to start with a curve for part of her face, like that. And then underneath here I'll draw a smaller curve for part of her cheek. And I'm glad to know that many of you told me you drew along with me step by step in my previous tutorials. Okay, so let's draw the cheek here. And then from here, I'll go across towards the other side of her face. So just something like that. In this area, let's draw the little ear like a backwards letter C. I'll draw a simple design inside, like that. And then let's go into the facial features. So here, let's draw a very small little nose like that. And for this picture, I want her mouth to be quite big. She's cheering everyone on. So let's start the mouth right around there. I'll draw a line slightly dipping down. And then I'll go down into a curve and then I'll go back up like that. Okay, for the inside part of the mouth, let's draw a little curve for the tongue. And now for her pretty lips, let's draw a little curve like that above. And for the lip underneath, let's just draw another curve like that. Okay. So we have her mouth all drawn. For those big fun to draw eyes coming up, I'll start with the cheek lines. There we go. And for this eye, I'll dot the spot. From this dot, let's go into a curve like that. I'll go into another curve on this side. And let's draw one more for the side of the eye. Okay. This part will be all shaded in. Let's get that in. And if you're a Taylor Swift fan, please share in the comments below which of her songs is your favorite. For me, I like Love Story. Okay, so we have this shape for the funny draw eye. Inside, I'll draw a big pupil. I'll make her look towards you, like that. So I have a big curve and a smaller curve right here for the highlight to make it look extra shiny. For the shading, I'll go up like that as a diagonal. Let's shade in this area. So everything underneath the highlight until the diagonal line. All right, now let's just draw three more lines to complete the shading. So there's the first line, like that. Second line will be a little bit shorter. And the third line is the shortest. Okay, excellent. So we have one big fun to draw eye. Let's go into the other side here. I'll go a little bit faster. So that's the curve. Let's draw another curve. One more and then the shading. Okay, pupil comes next, like that, and then the highlight with the extra shading in the pupil. Okay, and then the three lines. One, two, and three. All right. Now for her pretty eyelashes, for this tutorial, I like to add two on each side, like curved triangles. 
Make them stand out with shading. Okay, so now we have her face. Let's draw her cute hair with the bangs in front and then her pretty ponytail with the ribbon in behind. So to start the bangs, I like to take my pen and draw a curve right above the forehead area, like this. So let's go into a curve like that. So it looks like it's going to meet this part above the eye. I'll draw another curve to continue the bangs. Alright, now that we have this side of the shape all drawn, let's draw another side to complete the major shape for the bangs. So I'm just drawing a nice big curve like that. Okay, so this shape kind of looks like a sideways teardrop. Now in this shape, let's divide the space into groups of hair, so it looks more like hair and more natural. So I'm drawing a nice line like that. I'll just repeat that a few more times. Some will be shorter than others. I'll add a few more little lines in here. Okay, excellent. So we have the front part of her hair all done. And now for the side, basically from this point here, I want to draw a curve coming down towards the ear. So just something like that. So we have the hair on this side, and I want to add a little bit on the far side to make it look like she does have hair on the other side of her head. So just something like that. I think in this area we can add a little bit of an eyebrow poking out from underneath the hair in front. All right. So most of it will be hiding behind the hair. Okay, so now we have the front part and the sides of her hair. Let's go into the back of the head and then I'll show you how to draw her pretty ponytail with the ribbon. So basically I just want to draw a big curve around the head like that okay for the ribbon I'll draw a little bit of it poking out like a small curve so I'll draw three of these curves to make this part of the ribbon most of it will be hiding behind her head. I'll draw a little bit of the other side and then the end of the ribbon kind of just comes out from behind there. So now we know where the ponytail will begin. Let's draw a bunch of these curved lines inside this area here to make it look like the hair is being pulled all the way back towards the back of the head. So like that, so that's just one line coming in and let's draw a few more. So this is a great way to make the hair look like it's being pulled into a certain direction. And now the ponytail is going to be a little bit different from the ponytail I drew in my Fun to Draw Ariana video. There are lots of different ways to draw different kinds of hairstyles and I do have lots planned for you guys. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe so when I upload new videos, you'll be the first to know. Okay, so I added a few more of these lines in here. Okay, once we have this head part done, now we can go into the actual ponytail. So I'll start maybe right around here in this area. And begin the curve for the ponytail. Okay, so it kind of comes out like that. I'm just drawing these nice flowing loose lines for the ponytail. Draw a line coming down here. 
go around and then I'll end it like that. Okay, let's add a few more of these lines inside the hair for texture. Okay, that's looking pretty. Okay, excellent. So we have her head and her hair done. Next, I'm going to show you how to draw her cute little pose with her outfit and her props. Alright, so first I'll start with a little neck area underneath the chin. And then from this neck area, I'll draw the front part of her body as a little curve, like that. I'll go down a little bit more into the waist, like this. And then I'll stop right around there. On this side, I'll show you how to draw an arm that's going out. This arm will be extended and she'll be holding her little pom-pom, which I'll draw coming up. For this drawing, I'm going to summarize things like the details inside her outfit and her megaphone and pom-pom. Okay, so I'm drawing the arm coming down like that. Let's draw the other side of the arm. Okay. Now for the pom-pom, let's draw a curve to start it. I'll draw another curve on the other side. And basically what I want to do is draw just these lines here to make it look like the different parts of the pom-pom. Some would have the individual strands in there. And then from this, I'll just go up, or I'll just go down as curves. Keep continuing these similar looking strokes to form the major part of the pom-pom shape. So I'm going up like that. Kind of look like curved rectangles. Okay. Once we have the major shape done, let's draw a few more in the back to make it look fuller. And they do have different colors in there, so I'll just draw very simple little boundaries for the different colors of the pom-pom. Okay. Excellent. So we have our cute little pom-pom. And now let's go back into the body here. So we have our front. Let's draw the back part like that. I'll draw a curve going across the waist. And now I'm going to show you a really easy way to draw a cute skirt. So she's got such a nice little skirt. I'll draw it beginning with a line coming out. I'll go back in just a little bit. And then this side I'll draw the line coming out like that. So this skirt is a little different from the skirt I drew in my Fun and Ariana video. Alright, so we have these two lines coming out. And for the bottom, let's draw a nice little wavy line. Like that. So it looks quite triangular. For a simple design in the skirt, I'll just draw a line going across, and I'll repeat that to make a stripe. Okay. For her top, let's go back up towards the neck area, and underneath I'll draw a V, like that. And then there's a design coming down from around the shoulder and it goes around the arm and in towards the back. I'll repeat the V for a design and then I'll repeat 
this line here. Let's draw the edge of the top as two little lines going across the waist. And then she has the little TS symbol on her front. I'll simplify it. And because this area is quite small, I'll just draw a very simple looking T. Just a very basic shape of it. And then just an indication of the S going around the T. Like that. Okay. So we have her cute little outfit. And now for her nice little legs, let's draw this one coming out at an angle. I'm going to bend this knee like this. So this is one easy way to draw pretty legs. So I have a bent line here to start. Let's draw another line like that. I'll draw the line coming down, going down towards the ankle. And then for her cute little shoe, I'll summarize the details in here. For the shoe, I'll just draw a simple shape like this. A little curve around the ankle. I'll draw two curves for more detail. And then simple shoelaces, just a little loop on either side with a little shoelaces like that. Oh, so cute. So that's one leg. For the other one, it will be straight. So I have this leg, and then I'll just draw part of the lower leg, because most of it is going to be hidden from the other one. And then the little shoe just coming up like that. With a little bit of the little shoelaces. Okay, so we have our cute little legs. Let's finish up this part of the skirt. Excellent, everyone. Keep it up. We're almost done. Now for a cute megaphone. So this is how I'm going to draw it. I'll take my pen and start right near her cheek. So she'll be holding this megaphone by her face and then this arm will come out and be holding it underneath. But we'll draw the megaphone first. So we have this line. A curve for the opening. And then let's draw the bottom part. And then the back. To make it look round, I'll add a few curves inside. So I have this curve right here. And I'll draw another curve for a simple design. And to show the rim or the opening part of the megaphone, I'll draw a little curve just right by the edge, just to show that there is an edge near the opening. Okay, so now that we have that, she does have the little TS on the megaphone as well, so let's just draw that in. I have the T like that. I'll go down a little bit and now I want to draw a curved part for the S. Like that. Let's draw the other curved part for the S. Extend the T. Let's go down a little bit more. There we go. And now we can finish this part of the S, like that, and the other part, right here. So this is just a simplified version of what she has. Okay. Once we have the major part of the megaphone done, let's draw a little bit of her fingers 
underneath this part of the megaphone. That's her thumb. I just drew a curve for one of her fingers, which will be holding the handle of the megaphone underneath. Another finger wrapped around, and then a third one. Okay, now let's draw a little bit of the handle. So I have these two lines coming down in towards the fingers and just a little bit showing, not too much, because her fingers will be going around the handle. So you won't see too much of the handle there. Okay, so this is part of her hand. Now let's go up towards her arm and then her shoulder. Draw the other side and the arm. All right, so cute. Please like and subscribe if you haven't, so you won't miss new fun and draw tutorials, mega drawings, art, and other challenges. There you go. Learn how to draw in color more beautiful cartoons with my Fun to Draw ebooks and my Fun to Draw apps. They make great gifts for birthdays and holidays. Links are in the video description.